Well guys, today we'll be doing something different. We're going to be going into a rural part of town and checking out this school. Uh, the goal is to do some fundraising so they can grow some crops and feed some of the kids at the school as well as make some money uh, to support the school. So your, your help and your support will be much appreciated. Aloha. <laughs> Fun school, learning lots. And you're recording your class. Now you're making a video. <laughs> no, I haven't. Very good. How about? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's the And make sure your knee is over your foot, not too far. And you feel your landing. Yeah, 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 even in Kenya, you do that. Yeah. It goes that way to the. The other week, before you brought the hammer, it was burning. Yeah. Uh, a drop in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Can I have it? Okay. Yeah, because when they come to sport. Okay, this is Kenduru Primary School. The Kayo Sub County. Elgeo Maracuan County. Uh, Kenduru Primary School has big land which can be used for the benefit of the child. The farm can approximately give an income of around a million shillings if well farmed and utilized. Uh, we are planning to use the land to alleviate the poverty levels around. Particularly we have problems when it comes to our pupils or children. Some go without lunch, sometimes some they may fail to get breakfast. And additionally, we don't have sufficient reading materials, particularly the books, other facilities like furniture, that is the desks. And of course, we are in an era of ICT, information communication technology. We want to use the income from the farm to digitize learning. Apart from maize growing, the farm can be important in many other areas. The other crops which can do well. For instance, uh, potatoes, beans, peas, cabbages, and all sorts of crops can do well in this farm. Then, the new curriculum demands, that is CBC, competence-based curriculum. One other activities like sports, music, they cannot be done without resources. We need financial resources so that we can also promote music, sports like athletics, football, music, and many others. So we are appealing to whoever is willing to assist our children and alleviate poverty in this area to come and assist us to utilize the land so that we can benefit the child. And we are promising we are not going to let you down because we would be invited at any time to come and see how your resources are utilized. You'll be welcome. So we are promising, given the opportunity, given the financial funding, we are up to the tax. We are going to perform completely well. So welcome and feel free. Feel your funds will be in secure hands for the benefits of the Kenyan child. Welcome to uh, Kendur Primary School. Thank you.
Yes. I'm receiving the leaves. Huh? What color is this? You like this color? It's pink. Maybe like like your jacket. Matthew here, I'm from Maui. You know Madame? Madame Hannah, she was here the other day. Yes. Okay, what are some of the other things? Yes. Yes, I like to do a video. Yes. 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 He's an athlete and he's an athletics teacher. Do you like athletics? Yes. yes. You like running? Yes. You like jumping? Yes. He's a man. They carry? Yeah. They. Very good. You're good. Um, a meal for themselves. Seven. And, well done, requested the waiter to number eight. Feed their dog away and 30 minutes. Number 12? <coughs> Later. Very good. <laughs> Once again, this is Kendur Primary. I'm Mr. Kofi Barnabas, and I'm the head teacher of the school. Uh, as uh, Mr. John, I just say that uh, about the farm. I would also wish to say that uh, after having this farm, it will help the future of these children. In that, they'll in the next 20 years, 30 years, they'll change the whole of the society, and that's why we are running. We are asking these people to help us. Anybody who is willing to help us, you are welcome to help us for the generation in the near future. Thank you.